did find out working with Lynn, um, I'm getting ready to switch jobs, um, but I did find out working with Lynn, if you take things to the Goodwill um, here in Nelson County, that they, you let them know what um, Family Resource Center you want to, you want to sponsor? Each of our Family Resource Centers have different names for our centers. Mine is Team Up. Um, because I have Foster Heights Elementary School, Cox's Creek, and Old Kentucky Home. Um, New Haven, Boston, and Nelson County's Early Learning Center, the preschool, um, that would be the Village Family Resource. Mm -hmm. And then there's Barchtown City Schools. Um, well, and so um, let me finish. Let's see. Bloomfield Middle and Elementary is the Nest, mm -hmm. and then the Thomas Nelson uh, Nelson, Nelson County, County High School and Horizons, that's one center, Fusion. and that's called Fusion. And then you've got Bardstown City Schools as well. Um, I don't think they really have a special name for theirs. Um, ours, we just have those names to distinguish between mm -hmm. the centers that we have. Um, but if you take, um, it has to be clothing only and not any household items, um, and they weigh it by the pound in bags, and they will put that money on an account and we in turn can like give our families a voucher to shop there mm -hmm. for clothes if we don't have anything in our clothes closet that is going to fit the child um, then the family can shop there also families that have had fires uh, we've given them vouchers before so they can replenish any mm -hmm. household goods that they have um, but you just have to specify when you drop it off What's what there? what family resource center you are wanting the um, the money to go to, or the, it's donation. not really actual money, but donation. Um, and I know they the weigh it. I know when I took some things up to Goodwill, they weighed it and they said, we'll put this many pounds for team up. And so I'm assuming the pounds convert to money or dollars. It's up to a maximum. So, mm -hmm. um, it, it's a maximum allocation, allocation of about a thousand dollars, which helps the centers. And so helps, which the, helps community. the community, that's right. So I wanted to bring that up because I thought that's important for people to know that if they're cleaning out their closets, closets for spring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome. Just wanted to tag that in there. Um, I take a lot of my things to consignment shops and you do too. Mm -hmm. And then, but then there's other things that I will take to Goodwill. I just think it's important to support every if it's if something is ripped or damaged or not suitable for a child to wear um, I didn't know this but um, Goodwill you know even if it's not something they're going to put out on the floor to sell um, that material can be used um, for third world countries mm -hmm. they'll recycle it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's awesome and um, well anyway is there anything else we need to talk uh, about today I think we've done a great job I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go for some ice cream. I uh, hear you. We might be to some <laughs> JT's and Baskin-Robbins or Dairy Queen. We've got some great ice cream yes, shops do. in Bardstown. We do. I, I want a frozen yogurt place, though. I agree. I think that Bardstown would support it. I can tell you that the one that I went to um, in upstate New York, they had a um, children's area in the back where the children were able to play and they were there were cow there were leather couches for the parents to sit on nice. um so you've i think that would be such a great thing yeah. to have um for our families and they probably even had like maybe a room for birthday parties right you know i do want to touch on something you were talking about families um and i had written this on my little trusty ipad here yesterday when i was making notes about today um you know, we were talking about the news has been full of the violence on the bridges. You walked the Big Four Bridge with your husband a couple weeks ago. Oh, it was absolutely Did you like beautiful. That? I loved it. And, you know, it's such a great place for families. They have a lot of playgrounds um, for the kids. They have... Um, they have benches um, for, uh, you know, everyone. Can you ride your in. bike? You can ride your bike. You can rent. There was a place there that you can rent. Um, I'm not sure what they call it, but you, it can fit four people, mm -hmm. and you paddle. Oh, um, nice. And you can, uh, they have um, segways there. Really? Uh -huh. Ooh, I, I thought that was really those. cool. I didn't, I didn't check out the prices for that. Um, but um, it, we, we must have walked over five miles. Um, because we didn't know where to park mm -hmm. um but that was a good thing because after being shut up shut inside for so much of the winter mm -hmm. and even though i exercise five to six days a week it's i wanted that fresh air mm -hmm. outside and there's nothing like that being outside and being able to walk and have that nice weather yeah. um and a lot of families um on the bridge um it was it was just a great time for all but if 
had I known, and I mean, it made me sick to my stomach to open the, or to hear on the news about the um, af late afternoon, evening attacks, attacks from... Uh, you were there the day before that happened, I think, weren't you? I think so. I think so. And you know, that's kind of what I was leading into with that, is that, what your thoughts on that? Um, what's... I know what I think about it is that I'm, I think some of the Metro Council people in Louisville, and we're really close to Louisville, that's why I think that this kind of affects Nelson County residents. We go to Louisville well, all the time. What a scary thing if I had gone up there mm -hmm. with my kids and there was the grandfather who was beat by these, gr mm -hmm. I mean, actually they call it a, um, when a, it was like a group of over 200 teenagers um, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue of what they call it um, when they kind of congregate together mm -hmm. to vandalize and beat up on people. Well, it, yeah, and my whole thing is that Metro City Council, um, there was a woman, I can't remember her name, um, she said, we need things for our kids to do. You know, we're in theory, that all sounds well and good. But when we were kids, we didn't have bowling alleys, skating rinks, and movie theaters within walking distance. You know, they have a lot to do. My whole thoughts on that is you do have something to do. You mm -hmm. have to be in bed by a certain time. Get an education. Be home with your families. Parents know where your kids are. Well, that's, um, that's the problem <laughs> because a lot of these kids, um, one of the um, attacks was on the TARC um, um, mm -hmm. transportation and the kids were 14 years old and they attacked this man and of course the man and re and return pulled for being attacked out. pulled a knife and so one of the teenagers is dead and yeah, which is sad and then the other teenager um i think was injured yeah injured and released mm -hmm. from the hospital but and this was 10 o'clock at night on a sunday night and i'm thinking well, people you know when i was growing up there used to be an advertisement on tv it said it was it's like for an example it would say it's 10 o'clock do you know where your children are and I think that was such a great message for the community mm -hmm. because that they had that because parents do need to be parents and they need to have a curfew for their child. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if my kid um, was a 14 year old going to high school on a Sunday night, his rear end would be in the house. <laughs> Um, you know, yes. before that, where I would know, you know, where he was, where he, he was, was and what he was doing, right. because I was the parent who was always checking up and calling to talk with the other parents mm -hmm. that, you know, of the places that what my mm -hmm. kids were going. And so, we know there's times when we're not perfect parents and we do fail, but the majority of times as parents, we want to do the right things. And my whole thing with the thing that with the the attacks that happened in Louisville on the bridge is number one, there needed to be more security. You know, absolutely, and, they, and I think they have place. decided. The council mm -hmm. has decided that they are going to step up and have more police uh, monitoring those areas, mm -hmm. but only right. certain blocks of time, and that's partly the um, mm -hmm. afternoon, evening hours. Yes. And number two, parents know where your kids are. Number mm -hmm. three, this falls back on the the youth. Mm -hmm. Youth, you need to have pride up on yourself to want more than that. Mm -hmm. I think that our youth today. They do want more. They they're 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 thriving for more. They want an education. They want good paying jobs. They don't want to be on drugs. They don't want to sell drugs for a living. That's gonna normally probably land you in jail. So let's do the right things. And these kids in Louisville, you, you have plenty to do. Unfortunately, you get, an, get an education. Though, some of those kids see their parents selling drugs some of those kids see their parents that their parents aren't there to even care whether they come in at mm -hmm. a curfew time so right. i understand that you know mm -hmm. and i think that there there needs to be other other avenues right. of help um and support i know uh, a big thing i don't really know how much louisville has as far as big brothers big sisters but there is a need to have more mentors and mm -hmm. more people that can mm -hmm. Um, More youth get involved centers. in and in, in mm -hmm. youth centers and get involved in in our youth today. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I know that Nelson County has been trying to get more people into Big Brothers Big mm -hmm. Sisters to you and, know, and for be our a mentor. Youth. If you don't even want to come to a school to mentor a child, talk to a parent that may have an at-risk youth. Mentor a youth. I think it's important that we as adults get involved with helping solve the problem. 
it it can't just be well it's their problem let's let them take care of it it's all of our problems when it affects our communities i mean when i heard about the grandfather who was being beat while his wife was watching and, and the grandkids were watching and a group of people were standing around and they saw him being beat by all these teenagers and they didn't do anything that's not right because you have a responsibility to stand up and I, I suppose I wasn't in that place it would be hard for me to speak mm -hmm. because I would probably be afraid of being attacked too right I understand that but I mean I, it'd be hard not to step in mm -hmm. um, I know for my safety my husband would have said mm, let's run the other way you know mm -hmm. because it, first and foremost he would want my safety and then on the way, call 911. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that, that <laughs> could have been. Um, I don't really know, you know. Um, but we don't want that here in Nelson County. We want to keep our community safe, our places safe, our businesses, our homes safe. But it can happen anywhere. If it happens there, that's a public park. It's a park now. So. Well, and it's sad because that bridge just got completed mm -hmm. for the purpose of recreation. walking and recreation and, you know, all those little mini playgrounds that they have around and benches and everything. Mm -hmm. And that's an opportunity, you know, it was nice for my husband and I to, you know, get out of the house and drive someplace and to have... Um, a staycation. A, yeah, exactly, a staycation. And, you know, so just I guess it could happen anywhere you're right but it's um, sad it's sad that we 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 don't we need to learn to value people more and I think when we start valuing people more and putting the value on human life then less of this would happen maybe who, kn who knows Wilma I hope if we could only solve all of the community's problems and surrounding community problems in a half an hour <laughs> of this uh, focus on the community yeah. um, news program, yeah. then we would have it made. But We'd be not, superhero, here, we superheroes. Would, superheroes. We could wear our Superman cape. And, but it's not just up to you and I. It's up to everyone. Yeah. And we want everyone to, to be solvers of your community and solvers... You know, it takes more than two people to solve a problem. Ooh, election time's coming Ooh, up. That's right. Election time for judge and election election time for our new sheriff. And So really read about who you want in office. I think it's important to read up on what they stand for. What are they going to, what are they promising? Can they promise what they tell you they promise? If they can't, then be, ask them, why are you, how can you promise that you're going to do this for our community? Mm -hmm. You know, have them to share facts with you about what they've done in the past. Um, that's one thing I'm very, very interested in politics. I think it's interesting to read upon that. And, you know, even at our national level, I think we all need to be more aware of who we're putting in office. Oh, I, hey, I wanted to, I know it's almost time for us to wrap up. But I wanted to talk about, um, you were just talking about politics, and I was thinking back to also how our, our House and our Senate voted on our budget um, just recently, mm -hmm. and the things that are going to be provided for um, in the package deal. So mm -hmm. there'll be money put back into our um, education, educational mm -hmm. programs, our child care um, our family resource centers, hopefully, yeah. um, and just a lot of other things that were passed in that budget. But just the fact of how much fun we had down there, and I, mm -hmm. um, we had ta uh, we had taken an eighth grade student down there to be a legislative page for the day, and um, there was a lot going on that day, and um, it's and we weren't allowed <laughs> to be down on the floor; we had to be in the gallery. So um, after a couple hours of being in the gallery, bored. you get yeah <laughs> hungry, thirsty, and bored. and bored, and you want to explore things. So we were walking around the Capitol, um, the government, you know, uh, the state capital, the state capital, and um, we, we walked in this hallway. But we were we were really in this. We were really searching for because if you walk by some of these doors of these different offices. Sometimes you can look in and see that there's little baskets of snacks put out and stuff. Chocolate. And we were searching for chocolate. <laughs> and so we walk around, we turn the corner, and there is Brashear. Yeah, go I mean, governor. Our, and he walks in, I said, told you we'd run into somebody, Lynn. <laughs> so we're like, governor, can you take a selfie with us? So we're like, <laughs> where's my iPad? 
Yeah, we have a, a selfie of Governor Bashir, Lynn, and myself. And and I said to him, I told him about the chocolate thing, <laughs> and I said that uh, we were going to make sure that we were going to try to go by his wife's office and see if she had any chocolate because as a woman we know that she would she probably would have, have chocolate, chocolate. Mm -hmm. so um, <laughs> it was a very exciting time um, I know that our eighth grade student Madison Manningly that represented Old Kentucky Home Middle School um, she really enjoyed um, being a legislative page for the day and, and we want to thank David Floyd for mm -hmm, that too absolutely David mm -hmm. was wonderful and he was a real sport about taking pictures with mm -hmm. us and taking pictures with Madison I think he did one like this with Madison it means oh wait is it this way it's, or this, it's way? this way this way and yeah. it means ready Wilma ready it means fierce. fierce and then this means that you're really excited. excited yeah, about you're excited something. about something. Super happy or excited? Yeah, you're super happy. You kids know what that means. Let us know. Well, um, we learned all about is. that from Madison. Yeah, the kids know oh, all about Did that. you hear about Bardstown at Home that they won this award? Did we win? Uh, no, no, not for the colon oh, cancer oh, picture, oh. but they won an award, I think, for the volunteer, um, volunteers, uh, volunteerism that they've mm -hmm. done. And so they're going to get to go to, um, the governor's mansion. Wow. Remember how we were we right in front there. of the governor's mansion? We took pictures. And yeah, we so were. Uh, what happens if we could go in there? We could go in there, and it's kind of a cool place. It's real pretty. Madison yeah. said she wanted to live there. Yeah, it looked like a really nice place. I'm kind of <laughs> jealous. Maybe I can find a way to who blend would clean, in who would clean it, Bardstown at home. Who I don't want to clean it. it. I just want to be a guest there. <laughs> See, you were talking about being a guest. Who would clean that house? Who oh, clean who would that clean house? it? No, I don't want to clean. <laughs> no, I want to downsize. I don't want to clean all those rooms. Ugh. Well, anyway, thank you for having us on today, Gary. And we've had a really great time. And Lynn and I hopefully will be invited back to do this again. And we love it. We love it. If there's any topics you want us to bring up, just let us know. But um, for Channel Six TV, um, thank you.